This is a graph of elements that are in the Earth's crust. At the top, we see some very common things, like oxygen at 46% and silicon at 27%. This makes sense because these two elements make up silicon dioxide, or quartz, which is a big part of things like sand. Also near the top, common things like iron, hydrogen too. These, along with oxygen, make up things like water and iron oxides, like rust. But moving down towards the bottom of this list, we find some things that are very, very rare. Precious metals, like silver, gold, and platinum. But this video is about something that's even more rare than these precious metals. Today we're talking about iridium. Iridium has atomic number 77, and it's a lot like platinum. It's a bright, shiny metal that's really hard to work with, because its melting point is crazy high. It's also very dense, the second most dense element, and it's very, very rare in most places. Iridium makes up just 0.000000004% of the Earth's crust. But there are two places in the Earth that have a little bit more iridium than that. One of those places is what we have called the Iridium Anomaly. The one place, though, that we expect to find a lot of Iridium is in the core of the Earth, and it got there via asteroids. Asteroids are the big rocky chunks floating in the solar system. Today, there are about 1.3 million of them. Four billion years ago, asteroids were pummeling the Earth. And asteroids are made up of a lot more iridium than we find in Earth's crust. At that time, the Earth didn't even have a solid surface yet. So that means things that are less dense floated to the top, and things that are more dense, like iridium, sunk to the bottom, to the core. Some things actually use this tiny bit of iridium in things like a compass bearing a spark plug contact, or even pen nibs used to have this, and you can see it says iridium on some fancy pens. And so yeah, we can find some tiny pieces of iridium mixed in with other metals in Earth's crust. This very, very small percentage. But like I said, there are some places where iridium is much more common. Let's look at this hillside in Raton, New Mexico. If we would take a measurement and see how much iridium there is at each of these levels, we would find the normal amount, that very, very rare amount. Normal here, normal here, normal here, but right here in this spot, there can be as much as 160 times as much iridium. How did it even get there? These two guys figured out what was happening at that iridium line. It happened to be about 65 million years ago that this iridium layer was laid down. And that just happened to coincide with the extinction of the dinosaurs.
And so the Alvarez hypothesis says that an asteroid, a really big asteroid, hit the Gulf of Mexico 65 million years ago. The same thing that brought iridium to the core. Asteroids, which have a high percentage of iridium compared to Earth, they brought that layer too. This asteroid vaporized and it laid down this layer of iridium all around the world. Right at the same time that it ended the dinosaurs. <laughs>